Hello and welcome to a look at Mean Streak for the Commodore 64, a game that was released by Microsoft. In Mean Streak, in the 23rd century, apparently people have given up on normal transportation because it's boring and tedious. So they have turned to teleportation instead, which of course is a lot more convenient. But some rebels are seeking to get the old ways back with good old motorcycles and other uh, pollution machines. So for some bizarre reason they protest by driving, raising, fighting stuff on apparently the M25. And your goal in this game is to raise down the M25 uh, across uh, several different stages, which are it's not that different, but more about that later. And uh, while doing that, you will be facing various obstacles in the form of holes in the ground, walls, and of course the ever uh, recurring enemy motorcyclists. You can play this game uh, one or two players, and the two players can play simultaneously, which of course is always interesting. Uh, two players playing at the same time in any game makes it more fun, but it can also make it rather annoying because invariably you'll end up trying to knock each other out, and the fun of that aspect of the game, in my opinion, diminishes relatively quickly. Your super, super motorcycle thing comes equipped with machine guns and rockets and has the ability to drop oil slicks, which against the computer is of very limited use, but the other two options, the machine guns and the rockets, are quite valuable and super important if you want to do well while playing this game. Machine guns are very, very effective at taking care of the other motorcyclists, and you need rockets to punch holes through walls in order to not smack into them. Well, you can always try and drive, drive around them, but at the later points in the game, the walls will alternate, and you basically have to fire off rockets and pray that you smack the corners of every single wall in order to progress. You have a fuel gauge that you have to be mindful of, the red indicator on the bottom left side of the screen. And the black and white container things you can see will refuel your fuel partially. The things that look like a barrier, so it's, that's what I thought they were the first time, are actually a rocket, a rocket fuel thing, restore, restock, I think it's called. And, uh, as you fire off your rockets, you can use those to restock your rockets, and the small black canisters are your oil stick refilling. As you've probably gathered if you've been watching this video so far, um, what you see is what you get, and not much else. You drive along the road, you shoot the other motorcyclists, you avoid obstacles, you avoid holes on the ground, you try to punch your way to walls and pick up pickups. And that's basically it for the entire game, except for the fact that there will become more ob uh, there will be more obstacles even as you progress uh, later through the game. Now, from a graphical point of view, I don't think this game looks half bad. Um, there's been various comments about it not being particularly nice looking. I don't think it's um, on the lower end of the graphical spectrum on Commodore 64 games. Or off Commodore 64 games, whatever you call it. But 
I can agree to the fact that the road itself is rather bland. The only change there is between levels is actually the color difference. But you can still see what the individual things are supposed to be, the paths, the pickups and all that stuff. Well, not paths, but pickups. And, and that kind of stuff. And I think the, the player's motorcycle actually looks quite cool. The opponent's motorcycles are quite bland, but I suppose they they don't really matter because they are just minor obstacles which will get on your weight eventually. The main thing the enemy uh, um, riders will do is to push you against the side or put oil sticks in your path. And the oil stick will cause you to wobble temporarily if you drive over it and if you are wobbling you can't do anything else but wobble. So of course if you start wobbling and there's a wall coming up ahead you're going to smack into that wall making the wobbling quite annoying. So you are going to be spending an awful lot of time causing your machine gun graphic to connect with the enemy motorcycle graphic and cause the connection between the two graphic components to trigger a third graphic component causing them to disappear. And you'll be doing that quite uh, often because they constantly respawn. The music in the game, I should probably have mentioned that as well, I find it quite enjoyable even though it is a bit, a bit repetitive because it, it loops quite quickly. And I've always found that tune very very enjoyable though, so not bad at all. I don't know what it is about this game, but it's always appealed to me in some bizarre way. I've always had a desire to get good at it, but I've never managed to become particularly good at it. I don't necessarily think I have the patience for it. Firing off the rockets and smacking, uh, shooting holes into walls and all that kind of stuff looks super super cool if you ask me. You don't have to agree with it, that's probably fine. But the fact is, if you lose a life, which is relatively easy to do, the tech point system on the different tracks is not particularly generous. And that means that you find yourself redoing the same stretch of track time and time again. And in all honesty, much as I like the game and I want to like the game, there's no denying that once the wow appeal of it is gone, it becomes extremely tedious extremely quickly, which is a shame. I really want to like this game a lot more than I do, but it's just so hard to do. Thanks for watching, take care, see you next time. Bye bye for now.